Hello and welcome. I am coming to you live from the air traffic control tower in the heart of Grand Cayman. Over the next few minutes, we're going to be providing you unprecedented access to behind-the-scenes air traffic operations in hopes of giving you a better understanding of what it is that we really do here. So with that being said, backtrack and line up. Winds calm. Cleared for takeoff. Just in time to join me for the runway inspection. Follow me. Tower, good morning. ATC requesting permission to enter the active for runway inspection. ATC, good morning. Permission granted to enter the runway for the inspection report complete. Roger, permission granted. Received. Will report vacated. Cayman 102, push and start your discretion, report ready for taxi. Push and start your discretion, report ready for taxi. Cayman 102. Good morning, run Cayman, go ahead. Yes, Savannah, good morning. Approval request on Cayman 102. Cayman 102. Airborne time. Everyone at one two three three requesting flight level three six zero. Three four one one climb into flight level three six zero by my right to be separate. Flight level three six zero squawk three four one one Juliet Zero, thank you. Direct attack, Cameron one zero two. Cameron one zero two backtrack line up runway zero eight five attack for Charlie, copy clearance when ready. Okay, backtrack, get your good clearance, Cameron one zero two. It's a Miami by the right, Cal 2 departure flight plan route, flight level 360, squawk 3411. Miami right, Cal 2 360, 3411, Cayman 102. Cayman 102, read back is correct. So a few of the qualities that would benefit you in an air traffic control career would definitely be your voice. Your voice is your number one tool when you're talking to aircraft and you're talking to adjacent center. People need to be able to understand you, so that's the number one uh, most important thing. Uh, the second thing I would say is probably uh, what we call spatial awareness. This is being able to picture what's going on in your mind. As aircraft converge on the airport, you have to be able to see all that happening in your mind. In the Cayman Islands, we don't have radar, so uh, that's a very important skill for us. Uh, thirdly, you definitely have to be able to multitask. Uh, talking to aircraft, talking to adjacent centers, on the telephone, assistants, coordinators, you have to be able to multitask very well. So I would say those are definitely the three qualities that you would need to be successful in an air traffic control career. We're descending at a 250 for 11,000, currently 6 to 9 miles uh, to the north. Yeah, we're estimating a 2V1639. 1015, we'll call for departure, please. Uh, Kevin 105 or 15 day me out of um, 6, out of 5,000 at the field of sight. Kevin 4021 again, Kevin Express, 4421, 6,500-37 DME, estimating at time 1640, and we have Quebec. Left for the visual, uh, on a zero, it's a uh, full full left base, Chansky, uh, 211. Cayman 7 out of 2, opposite direction traffic is a British Airways Boeing 767. Maintain 4,000 feet, report crossing that traffic for hire. Cayman Tower, it's a proper sound of sound of mic, it's a uh, report technical, that'll take the time on the two. Maintain 4,000 feet, call you crossing the traffic, Cayman 792. Cayman 833, leaving 5,000. Speedboat 253, descend altitude 5,000 feet. Obstruction traffic is a Cayman Airways Boeing 733, report crossing that traffic for lower. Uh, please, Continue descent to 5,000 feet, call you crossing the traffic, Speedbird 253. Speed down, medevac 77, 
would you like to take up our clearance to Aruba, please? 1,000. Speedbird 253, wind 140 degrees 8 knots, runway 08, clear to land. Speedbird 253. The Cayman Islands TMA, or Terminal Maneuvering Area, is actually a lot larger than many people think. It's roughly 10,000 square miles, and we handle over 34,000 flights a year. With most of these happening during the winter season, which means that on certain days we have over 100 aircraft arriving and departing here in Grand Cayman. Many of these flights occur during the hours of 11 a.m. till 4 p.m., which means it's not uncommon during that time to see an aircraft arriving or departing in under two minutes. Working with only just one runway, no taxiways, and a very small ramp, it can be very congested sometimes here in the airspace and on the ground. Let direct to the final approach fix runway 08 descent to 1000. Roger, contact of out of control 124.155. You guys have a good day. Roger, station calling Mayday, Mayday. This is Alpha, Foxtrot 5, Tango X-Ray, do you copy? 80 knots, check. Engine failure, reject. 30, 20, 10. How the airplane is going to be very maneuverable. Otherwise, it's, it's you know two intercepts. Cayman two zero one, surface winds zero nine zero at five knots runway zero eight. Very loud. Very loud runway. Cayman two zero one. What brought me to air traffic was actually a project that me and my best friend did in the former Cayman Allison School. I had to interview someone in the community and we actually interviewed her sister who was an air traffic controller at the time and from that moment I knew that that is what I wanted to do. Zero to news, your traffic is Cayman 103, checking to two via 26, descent to 11,000. American 1552 is a two via 1636, descent to 13,000. Weather is one of the few things in air traffic we cannot control. Being an island in the Caribbean, we are blessed with sunny skies. However, half the year is hurricane season. At a moment's notice, a squall could come through. Delta 687. Can we come right in the cell that's uh, about 10 miles ahead and give us a little more time to get down and then go direct mobile? When we experience this weather, aircraft will be deviated. What this means, pilots want to avoid the weather. We as ATC must ensure separation. No wind shear or break. Miami, American 9615. We're Charlie Gulf, Sierra Tango Gulf, 13000. By level uh, 340 is approved. By level 340, squawk 3456, and he'll be airborne on time 1936. What I enjoy about air traffic control the most, if I had to narrow it down to the one thing, would be the fact that every single day is different. In 20 years in this profession, I've never seen the same situation twice. Every day presents a brand new set of challenges. In air traffic control, what worked for you yesterday very well may not work today or tomorrow. Now, there's different types of job satisfaction that one can achieve. And for instance, take a carpenter. At the end of his day, he looks outside and says, I built that roof, look at that. Or an auto mechanic can say, I repaired that car, watch it go down the road. We don't get that type of satisfaction. But the one we do get, just can't be beat.